The setup of Ryu Jinx may be daunting at first, but if you got all the files and know what to do it is actually pretty easy. So make sure to follow along and you can use this amazing Nintendo Switch emulator. So as I said, this is another Nintendo Switch emulator and it is programmed in C Sharp instead of C++ as Yuzu. Recently it got more popular because it can play games like Pokemon Sword and Shield without softlocks, which is a great accomplishment. And I think this emulator has a lot of potential. So how to download it? Just click download the latest build right here on reujinx.org. So click it and here click the system you want to use. So for me I'm on Windows but it should work on Linux or Mac. So click whatever you use and download it. So myself I already downloaded it and the download can take a while so I'm just going to cancel this one. And I will be back in just a second with the download right here. So another really important thing to do is check the compatibility page. Please before you ask if a game works, check this page and see what games do and what games don't work. For example, if you type Pokemon right here, you can see Pokemon Let's Go, Pokemon Quest. One boots in game, so it goes past the menus and one simply boots, so that's less good. So keep that in mind and you can search pretty much any game right here. So now let's head over to the file we just downloaded, the reuedings.zip folder. So right click this file and just extract it in a folder or right here, it is really up to you. If you extract it in a folder like I do right here, it will take a second of course. And right here you are greeted with a folder with pretty much the same name. So open that up and there is a folder called publish, open it up. And here are all the files Reuting uses. So over here is reutings.exe. Make sure to boot it once so the actual folders and app data will show up. And in a second you are greeted with the GUI. So let's close this for now and we'll go back to adding some files to make Reutings work properly with any Switch title. So there are a few things you need to get Reutings working properly. You need the product keys in a folder right here. You need the fonts which are right here. And you need the contents and this is from an actual Switch NAND. And this just means it does work properly. So I'm going to show you where to put those right now. So head over to your local disk, your C drive. Here open up users, your user, here go to app data, roaming, and here search for Ryu FS. For me that was pretty right here, but this list could be very long. So right here where you need to paste the files, you need to go to system, here you need to paste the keys, and maybe I don't include the title keys, but it doesn't really matter. Without the title keys it should also work, so both should work fine. So also in this folder you need to paste the fonts folder. This actually needs to be inside the folder. So you have a folder with all the fonts in it. So make sure you use it in this setup, otherwise it won't work. So now get back to RioFS, go to NAND, here open up system and here paste the contents folder. Once this is pasted right here you are good to go and you can safely launch Ryujinx with pretty much any game. So now let's get back to the build we just downloaded. And now we are in the GUI. So how to add games with this? The games need to be dumped or downloaded yourself and put in a single folder. You can also use multiple folders but just putting them in one is a lot easier. Here in the game directory page you can click browse. For me it is already in recent but go to wherever you got all your games, I got quite a bit. Add them and now you're pretty much good to go. So a few things you can look out for is the enable discord integration. If you enable this people on discord can see what game you're playing. I just leave it enabled because it is pretty fun. In the input settings this is actually pretty important. Right here you can only configure the controls with the keyboard. If you don't mess with these an Xbox controller will work properly. So just don't touch any of these settings and use an Xbox controller. And if you use any other, just convert them to X input and it should work. You can also right here enable dock mode. This could get a game a bit more performance or quality, but it may not work for all games. So I'm just going to keep it unchecked right now. But you can mess around and see which works best for you. In the system, I don't recommend touching anything. You could of course disable vSync if you like to, it doesn't really matter. 
And right here, some games require to enable ignore missing services. Unless it is stated specifically, I just recommend to disable this because it could cause instability. So now let's click save to save all our settings. And you can see right here, I got all my games loaded. So I'm going to show you some gameplay of the Binding of Isaac so you can see it does actually work. The sad part is I can't show you any, any Nintendo titles like Super Mario Odyssey or Pokemon because Nintendo likes to get out my videos and pull them down. So I can't show any Nintendo internal properties. So you have to do with the Binding of Isaac and just trust me that some Nintendo titles do work. But again, make sure to check the compatibility page. So now let's wait for this game to boot up and I'll see you there. So as you can see this is a game which actually works pretty great because the graphics aren't that difficult to render. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this guide and I hope you found it useful. If you did make sure to let me know by dropping a like down below and comment what you thought of it. Also, do you prefer Ryujinx or Yuzu? Also let me know. And I will see you in another video. I'm out.